This is by far one of the saddest cases I have ever watched. However, this is the reality some people face after being charged with a crime. So I'm going to show it. Let's go to court. Theodore Abbott Jones? Yes, that's me. It's the state of Kansas versus Theodore Abbott Jones. Case number 2022, CR505. Mr. Jones, you might want to set up just a little bit. I just want to be able to see you. Uh, he appears at the jail Zoom location. Devin Canfield appears on behalf of the state. Mr. Jones, the information before the court would indicate that you had a sentencing proceeding scheduled before Judge Crum on uh, September the 9th, and you didn't appear. It's a pretty important proceeding not to be uh, uh, coming to court on, Mr. Jones. How come you didn't come to your sentencing? I was too busy trying to kill myself. I took a, uh, I didn't eat the, the eighth, I didn't eat because I had read was like if you're on an empty stomach and you drink, you drink and then you take uh, pills, you won't, you know, the, the alcohol makes the pills, they both interact together. So about 3.30 that morning, I finished drinking a fifth and then I got another drink and then I took some, uh, took some, took a bunch of lower tabs and when I did wake up, it was like after one o'clock and I was like kind of angry because it didn't work. So I thought I took enough lower tabs and drink enough alcohol to kill myself. Mr. Jones, your case is serious, but I don't know that that's, it's worth killing yourself over. Mr. Jones actually has two open cases. The first is from an offense in 2022 where he violated the Offender Registration Act. Now, most of us assume the Offender Registration Act is related to the offender registry that we are commonly used to. However, in Kansas, they have an offender registration that applies to drug offenders. Anyone who has been convicted of a drug-related offense is required to register their address, just like most of us are used to other offenders being required to register and keep up with their address. He has three counts of violating that act, and he also has open charges from 2021 of aggravated kidnapping, distribution, aggravated robbery with a dangerous weapon, aggravated assault, criminal possession, battery, and possession. I read the limited information that was available, and it looks like perhaps he may have tried to rob a dealer. I'm not sure exactly, but it was a, a, a male he held hostage. That was the basis of the kidnapping charge. Regardless, it's always sad when someone has unaliving thoughts. You're not supposed to be drinking or taking drugs as a condition of your bond. And obviously, at that time, you obviously didn't care about your bond. I just need to get you rescheduled for sentencing in front of your assigned judge, uh, which is the Honorable Chad Crum. Manny, do we have another sentencing date we can give? Or should I use one of the other docket settings? I asked, but I haven't heard back yet. Sure. Okay. I have a date that I can assign 2.30 p.m. on October 7, 2024 with Judge Crum. That's October 7, 2.30 p.m., Judge Crum's court, ostensibly for the uh, conducting of a sentencing proceeding at that time. Uh, I'm going to allow Mr. Jones's status to remain the same as established by Judge Crum at the time of Mr. Jones' not appearance which is a no bond hold pending sentencing proceedings to be conducted on October the 7th. His uh, previous appointment of counsel stands, Mr. Watts. Anything else we need to address at this time, Mr. Canfield? No, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Jones, I hope you're doing better now. And I've tried to set a relatively prompt date for your sentencing, and hopefully you can get your business taken care of then. Okay. All right, if there's nothing further then, the Theodore Jones matter will be in recess at this time.